So I get asked a lot of questions like how to get started in cybersecurity or how to transition into the industry. And I figured I would walk through um, kind of my recommendations and how I personally did it. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see is people either waiting to be taught or just sitting around asking like, what is the best resource? Can like someone give me a video or a blog post that will take me from beginner to, to where I want to be? And the truth is, it's a, it's a very vast field and it's gonna take a lot of learning. And most importantly, in cybersecurity, at least in most roles in cybersecurity, you're a researcher first and a cybersecurity professional second. So the probably the best place to start, in my opinion, is learning how to learn, learning how to be a researcher, how to figure things out on your own. And this is gonna become very important uh, later on in your career because cybersecurity is a very vast changing field. The problems we had to deal with 10 years ago or even five years ago or less are very different from the problems we have to deal with now. So it's very important that you're able to identify the changing trends and learn the skills you need in order to follow those trends. So what I would personally start with is narrowing down what part of the industry you want to be in. Now, there's a good mind map here that will tell you about the different areas of the industry and uh, you can just research what those are and see what you think fits the most for you. Now, this is something someone sent me. It's basically a map of all the certifications which correspond to different areas of InfoSec. So once you've figured out what area of InfoSec you want to get in, you can look at what certifications map to that area and it tells you which are uh, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and you don't necessarily need to take them. In fact, a lot of these certifications are gonna cost thousands of dollars, but you can read the bio, what it covers. You can look into free write-ups about that certification that third parties have made, or videos on how to learn it, or how to study, and you can just get an idea of what it covers. Most importantly is just picking out those bullet points of okay, this is a topic this certification covers. I'm gonna go and learn this somewhere else. Like I'm gonna go watch a video on this or read a blog post. And I personally did not ever take a single certification. I used them as a reference for things I needed to learn, but I didn't, I didn't have money. So I, I couldn't afford these certifications and I had to find weird ways to learn. That's not to say they're not good. If you can afford them, then great, go for that but they are absolutely not required in order to get started. Once you've decided what part of the industry you want to be in, let's say you want to be a red teamer, you can Google red team jobs and look for job application pages. And those applications will list a, uh, either a collection of skills they want you to have or some certifications. So what you're going to want to do is gather as many job applications as you can and find out what skills or what certifications are common across all of them. Now, a good place to start is with certifications. In my case, that was CH, which I don't think is a good certification personally, but it's a good starting point if you're a beginner. So what I did was Google CH course, and then I looked at the bullet points of all the things the course is going to teach you. And then I picked one at random and decided to focus on that. And in my case, that was SQL injection. So I went and Googled SQL injection tutorial. And then I had questions like, what is SQL? So I went and Googled, what is SQL? And I kind of worked my way back until I had, uh, I had like a foundation of knowledge. And probably one of the most important things to understand here is that cybersecurity is a skill set that builds on top of another skill set, which builds on top of another skill set. So if you jump into say something like SQL injection without first understanding SQL and then without understanding how databases work, it's gonna be tricky, but you can do it. Now, one thing that's gonna happen a lot and it happened to me pretty much all the time, even today, is you're gonna read a tutorial or a resource or watch a video, read a blog post and feel like you just don't understand anything. And the thing with cybersecurity is because as I said, it is a field that builds on top of skills that builds on top of skills. If you don't have the foundational skills, you are jumping in at the deep end. You're gonna feel out of your depth. 
and that is fine. In fact, that is good. And what I developed is a routine for figuring out if a resource is good. Because the metric of I understood everything in this video or blog post is it's probably not going to happen. If you're going in with no foundational knowledge, you're probably going to understand 5% of whatever resource you find. So the trick I found was to keep notes. And the notes aren't because you're going to forget them. I'm personally someone who can had a very good memory, so I never needed to write down notes. But I found it useful for two reasons. The first is writing down something I learned. You're not looking to fully understand everything that the resource is trying to teach you. But if you come away with a piece of knowledge, that is good. Like for instance, I went to a practical SQL injection tutorial and of course I was out of my depth because I didn't understand what databases are or what SQL is. But I learned uh, what SQL stands for. And I have some questions like, what does SQL do? And then I can Google uh, SQL programming or database management and I can learn those things. So it's important to keep notes of everything you learned in a resource. And the more things, the better. But if you can come away just saying you learned only one or two things, then those are two things you don't have to learn next time you read something. And over time, you will just build up this tree of knowledge and you'll understand more and more and more from each resource you read or, or watch. And at some point, you will get to the point where you can just Google blah, blah, blah tutorial and understand absolutely everything. But the important thing is not to expect that if you're new. You should be looking for, did I learn something? You should write down anything you learned as well as what questions you came away with. Because honestly, I think the questions are more important than what you learned. If you come away with questions, that means you learned a lot. And then those questions, you can go away, you can go to Google, answer those, and then build up your foundational knowledge. But hopefully it can reassure you that every time I was learning something new, I felt so out of my depth, like I was a complete idiot, like I didn't understand anything. And I think that's just how you're going to feel when you're trying to learn such a uh, like complex crossover of skills. And just because you feel out of your depth does not mean you're not learning anything. 